Hello everyone and welcome to Exploding Fish Shitbusting and Senseless Drivel Inc. Today this is my first YouTube AMA slash FAQ. I don't know if it's more an AMA or an FAQ. A couple days ago I asked you guys over on Facebook to send me your best questions, the, the questions you wanted me to uh, really answer every burning questions you had and you sent me 164 questions and I'm not gonna answer all of them just the best or my favorite and basically that's it so here we go Question number one, uh, did you go through a system of a down phase when you were an angsty teenager? Yes, but I was much more into Slipknot. Then again, the first song that I learned to play on guitar when I started learning guitar in high school was a system of a down song out of uh, still this album, if I remember correctly. Next question. If you had to choose three countries to visit and one to leave, which would they be? Uh, so to visit, one country that I've always wanted to visit and I really wanted, I would really want to go is Vietnam. Another one, uh, Greece. And another one, Argentina. And to leave, I would choose Australia. Those are my definitive answers. Mm. Next. In all honesty, how does it feel to be able to interact with people from around the world who love your meme page and expensive milkshakes? What, I, what can I say? It's fucking amazing. It's one, of the, it's one of the greatest experiences of my life. Maybe the best thing that ever happened to me. Or at least it's the, in the top five of my whole existence. Uh, is anime the final act of revenge against the allied nations? <laughs> oh. <laughs> this, one made, this one made me laugh quite a bit. It's a great theory. I don't have a definitive answer to that, but I think it's a great theory. Uh, next question. When you first started, did you ever think that you would become the meme old star you are today? <laughs> How does it feel having 300,000 300, likes? No, 300,000, not 300,000. <laughs> anyway, um, no, uh, I did not think at all that I would, I would get this big. Actually, my objective, what I was aiming for, was 1,000 likes. I, I thought that would be awesome. That would be... Really great. And I, I actually, when I started, I got to 1,000 likes in less than a week. And I got my first 100,000 likes in about six months uh, after creating the page. So it all, all, all was really fast and I did not realize at the time. And I'm starting to realize now. And yeah, it's amazing. And, and it makes me feel like I should continue doing my best to keep you guys uh, entertained and happy. Because that's my life's um, purpose. Mm. Next question. Would a very expensive milkshake be an ideal replacement for a birthday cake? Absolutely, sure. And even better than that, it can be the cake and the gift at the same time. Um, if you had to fight a historical figure to the death, who would it be and why? So there's one, this one is really easy. Uh, Thomas Edison, the fucker. Because he, he, he was a hack and a fucking nerd and he abused animals with his electric, electricity bullshit. Thomas Edison, I would, I would beat the fucker to a pulp. Uh, I mean, yeah, to the death. Mortal Kombat, uh, yeah. Rip out his spine and all that shit. Fuck you, Thomas Edison. Fuck you. Next. Uh, what salad dressing do you prefer? Uh, yeah, in, in, in the matter of salad dressings, I know a lot of them and I've tried a lot of them. And the, the best one, in my opinion, is the simplest one. One of the simplest. Um, 
just olive oil and balsamic vinegar and that's it it's it works really well with most salads <sighs> next do you think i should dig a pond in my garden and fill it with fish important information i like fish so i would advise against that because my grandfather actually did that in his garden. Uh, he also likes fish and he, it was a bad idea because it actually tr attracted a lot of wasps so it turned out to be not so great. Uh, anyway, did you anticipate becoming an almost cult level meme lord? Uh, I'm I'm not an almost cult level meme lord. I can only hope becoming one one day. But yeah, I'm kind of on the road to become one. So, uh, where can I sign up for the cult? <laughs> I cannot answer that publicly. Uh, hit me up in in private so we can discuss that. Uh, anyway, I thought you were from America before seeing one of your live videos. What it's like? What is it like being French? And looking at all the shit happening in the USA, it's entertaining. It's really entertaining. It's really fun to watch. Uh, does making people smile or, or laugh feel fulfilling to you? It's the most fulfilling thing I have ever done in my life. Yes, a thousand times yes. It's really, really fulfilling. It's amazing. It's the best feeling in the world. Um, I mean, intellectually, it, it cannot compete with a good blow job or a good steak but yeah mentally it's the best feeling in the world anyway how did you love for rats first blossom and how did it grow so exponentially so i i feel like i've talked about this already a thousand times but it's the really simple story so i'm gonna tell it again i have been a dog lover all my life i'm really a dog person I love dogs so much, but I live in a small apartment with no with no, no garden, no backyard, so having a dog is, is out of the question. And uh, I was researching what pet could I have uh, that could replace my craving for dogs, but be compatible with a small apartment with no garden and no backyard. And uh, yeah, someone on 4chan told me that rats are basically like tiny dogs. And yeah, I started doing my research, and I, I found out that uh, yeah, rats and dogs have a lot of uh, are a lot in common in terms of you know behavior and and all that. And uh, that's in a nutshell how it started, and how did it grow so exponentially? Well, just by living with them and sharing my life and my days with them. That's that's all. They're they're really great little animals. They're they are great pets. Um. Uh, do you still work on music? Yeah, of course. Uh, because, yeah, yeah, uh, some time ago I, I was talking about giving it up or, you know, quitting. Yeah, it was um, in an old live stream on Facebook maybe one year ago. And, yeah, I, I, I did the smart thing. I actually made the wisest move I could make. And uh, one year ago I decided to take a break from music and for six months I did not touch a guitar, I did not touch a keyboard, I barely even thought about music or you know I listened to music but I barely thought about the process of making music and all that. Really a six month total break and uh, it worked like a charm and refueled my passion uh, for, for, for the craft and, and, it, and it ignited my creativity back like nothing else probably could have. Uh, ever uh, since I have released one new compilation of old stuff, one new album, and I'm at the moment working on a lot of stuff, several new albums, plus plus uh, the music for this YouTube channel, because I'm, I'm writing and recording all the tracks, all the background music for uh, these videos. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm working on a lot of stuff at the moment, and yeah, I'm really back into the game. So, yeah, take, taking a break was the, the best thing I, I, I ever could do. Next. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Lavender ice cream. Uh, it's ice cream made with a lavender flavor. It sounds weird, but it tastes amazing. Um, 
Next. When you're watching TV and eating chips, do you find you need to turn the volume up every single fucking time? It's... They they should have they they should have thought about something to to work around this. I mean, science is really advanced nowadays. They still haven't found a cure for that. Anyway, um, what's the last thing you think before you go to sleep? Ugh, I have so much stuff to do tomorrow. I always feel like I have so much stuff to do and I will never have the time to do all I have to do. And I usually spend most of my days doing not a lot of stuff. Anyway. Will you ever breed rats in order to make a super rat? I actually have thought about this a lot. And, uh, yeah, I cannot right now because I would need much more space. Because I would need a one cage for the males one cage for the females, and yeah, I don't have space uh, for that right now, but it would be it would be great. I would breed them, because when you breed animals, uh, pets especially, you gotta have three things in mind. The first, the most important thing, is health. You, you, you gotta breed animals that are as healthy as can be. And uh, so that, that's what I would shoot for first. And next, there are two things that are kind of ex-equal, uh, kind of on par on the list of priorities. It's uh, how docile and cuddly they are and how intelligent they are. Because you, you, a lot of people want pets that you can cuddle with, you know. Um, and a lot of uh, people want pets who are funny to interact with, yeah, that you can maybe teach tricks and uh, play with and all that. And uh, the, the, the advantage with rats is that you can have both of those, because they are really cuddly, and they are really clever. And um, I don't know which one I would, I would probably have to, you know, uh, pr prioritize one of those, because, of course, rats have their personalities, and some are much more cuddly than others, and some, obviously, are m much more smart, much smarter. Uh, than other ones. So, which one would I prioritize? I think I would make two strains, two groups. Uh, all of them, of course, would, would have to have optimal health, uh, but I would make one group of really, really cuddly rats and one group of really, really smart ones. And, uh, yeah, but uh, it's in my plans. I have thought about it. I have thought about it a lot. But uh, right now, I don't, have, I don't have the space. And, uh, yeah, maybe one day. Um, do you like pie? If yes, oh boy, what flavor? I'm not a fan of pie in general, because everything that has a crust, everything, every dessert that has flour in it tends to be not my favorite in terms of dessert. I tend to uh, favor things that, you know, don't have any bready stuff like chocolate mousse or panna cotta, creme brulee, uh, yeah, or even a fruit salad. Uh, but yeah, sometimes I have cravings for pie. And um, it's... My favorite pie, I think, is apple pie. It's it's a classic because it's great. And uh, yeah, I also love lemon meringue pie. Uh, I love lemon in general. Everything that has lemon in it, usually I, I, I love that. And uh, prune pie. Prune pie, uh, underrated, and oh, of course, the marvelous banoffee pie. If you don't know what banoffee pie is, it's um, it has a, a biscuity, buttery crust, kind of like a cheesecake, and then a layer of bananas, and then a layer of dulce de leche, and then a layer of whipped cream, and it's basically it's like eating. Uh, heaven and yeah, also diabetes and cholesterol. But it's amazing. It's uh, wow. If you haven't tried banoffee pie already, I urge you to try as soon as possible because it it's mind blowing. Um. Next, what kind of soup would you be? Lots of questions, of food related. I like that. Uh, it's, um, 
I would be soup au pistou. It's a soup from uh, my native region of Provence, uh, which is really close to the Italian minestrone, but better in every way. If you don't know what it is, Google it. It's uh, spelled P-I-S-T-O-U. <laughs> yeah, next. How do you most effectively burn a wasp nest out of a stop sign? I, I've, I've got a feeling that it's this, oh, is this some sort of riddle, code? I'm kind of nervous right now just by reading this question. Also, I'm really allergic to wasps and stop signs, so I'm, I'm just gonna go to the next question. On a scale of 1 to 10, how ironic will this video be? Yeah, three, maybe four. Um, how many fish have you exploded to this day? Aleph Nol. Um, next, would you rather fuck Katy Perry or Lindsay Lohan? This is easy. Lindsay Lohan. Hands down, all the way, I fucking hate Katy Perry. Everything about her is repulsive uh, to me. But Lindsay Lohan sounds kind of kind of cool. Uh, especially in comparison to Katy Perry. So yeah, Lindsay Lohan, no hesitation. Plus she's a redhead, that's kind of... I like that. Next question. Weed? Uh, 520, bro. <laughs> Next question. Thoughts on traps? Hmm... Well, live traps, like you may have seen in the latest iDubs videos, are great. You can catch a variety of small vermin like that, mice, rats, squirrels, without hurting them at all. That's amazing. Uh, snap traps are a kind of bullshit. Uh, they're seen as a kind of humane, because they, they kill the animal uh, without making him suffer, but sometimes it doesn't work. And yeah, a lot of, uh, a lot of animals actually learn really fast how to avoid them and uh, steal the food without getting hurt and so that yeah it's bullshit and a waste of money and glue traps are the worst they're awful avoid that at all costs next how many drinks do you need before you're a great dancer I can't dance that's another uh, another common trait that I have with Phil Collins is that I cannot dance under any conditions no matter the conditions uh, I actually I hate dancing, so um, I never tried, I never bothered, and I I hate the idea of dancing. So no matter the number of drinks, did you get enough sleep? Yeah. Tits or ass? Uh, tits are great. Tits are amazing. Of course, we all love tits. We all love boobies, but you know, ass. Ass is just something else. Ass is just next level. Of course I'm an ass man. Like Kramer. Like all the best people. Ass. Obviously. Uh, favorite cheese. Yeah, it's a cheese from central France called Valence. Uh, it's, in a, it's goat cheese. Ashen goat cheese uh, in the shape of a pyramid with the, with the, the tip cut. And it's pretty amazing. I also have a, a, a profound love for mascarpone. And I'm not sure it counts 100% of the cheese. You tell me. How do you like your pizza? More food-related questions. Obviously, I love you guys. So, uh, pan crust. Pan crust is just next level. Pan crust is just better. Uh, especially with the, you know, the, with butter. Um, with a cream base, I prefer cream base to tomato based or barbecue sauce based are awful and I hate barbecue sauce. Um, yeah, as much meat as possible, preferably pork, like ham or, uh, you know, bacon. And a lot of hot sauce oil, you know, the, these olive oil that are infused with red hot chili peppers and, uh, and all this uh, hot spices, yeah basically. And onions. Onions are always good. Always a good idea. Next, uh, are you always intentionally ironic? 
No. Tomato or tomato? Hmm. Tomato, it feels more natural. It rolls off the tongue better. But tomato sounds funny. So both are good for their respective qualities. How do you like your meats done? Rare. I'm not a... You know, I'm not this kind of person. I like my meats rare. Uh, have you ever been arrested? No, I haven't. How expensive is a really expensive milkshake? We have been over this. First, it's not its not really expensive milkshake. It's a very expensive milkshake. Know the difference. It could save your life. And next, it's a thousand dollars. We have... We have, we have been over this. Can we write you letters in the mail? So, a lot of people are asking this. They want to send me, like, gifts and stuff and shit. And, and food from all around the world. And letters. And I have not set yet a P.O. box. The main reason being that I'm afraid of the customs uh, taxes that can go really high when you receive stuff from overseas or from generally from outside of the European Union. Uh, so yeah, I'm very wary of this. I, I know friends who had trouble because of this because they have ordered some stuff online and they had to pay a hefty tax just to uh, be able to receive it. And uh, yeah, that's what that's the big thing that's making me say, oh, maybe later when I'm more financially stable and comfortable. Right now, I'm, I'm I still have a lot of debt, and uh, financially, it's still a thin ice. So um, maybe later, I will set up a PO box, and you can send me letters and stuff and food and whatever you want, and uh, yeah, it makes me kind of nervous when I think about the bad unboxing stuff that happened to iDubs, but uh, anyway, I'm, yeah, I'm all for adventure and, and all that shit, so uh, yeah, when I can, when I feel that I can afford it, I will set up the pew box. Next question, what is your alcoholic beverage of choice? Uh, bourbon, you, uh, yeah, I've got it. I got it right here every time, on, uh, all the time on my desk. I have some bourbon. Uh, yeah, it's my it's my companion for um, summer, for winter, for day and night. Uh, I I also like rum a lot and gin, and I also like vodka. But yeah, bourbon. And, um, as I uh, yeah, I've grown. Uh, I used to hate whiskey in general, and I've grown year after year to love it more and more and it has become my drink of choice uh, nowadays. I also love uh, Scottish uh, whiskey and uh, yeah. Next, have you ever played RuneScape? No. Have you ever eaten human shit? No. How tall is your mom? Uh, five feet four inches. Can you do a Mexican accent? Yeah. Have you ever been to America? Yes. Uh, and actually, it connects. It connects to the first question because uh, twelve year about twelve years ago, I won a contest in a magazine to go meet System of a Down in uh, San Francisco. And uh, yeah, it was a contest. You had you had to design the best uh, postcard. That, that had to be system of a down related and yeah I won the the contest and I and I got to go um, to San Francisco for free uh, for a weekend to meet with system of a down and see their opening concert of their new tour uh, that had uh, the Mars Volta as an opening act um, and yeah I think it was for the mesmerized tour but it, it might have been the hypnotized tour it was about at this time you know and uh, of course, I did not have the time to visit at all because uh, I spent most of my time uh, with the band. And uh, yeah, I the only thing I could visit of America was uh, the Chinatown of San Francisco uh, 12 years ago for one afternoon. I got one, I had one afternoon free, and so I I visited what was around my hotel, and that was Chinatown, San Francisco. How many hot dogs? Three. Big dong. 
You fucking know it. And last question. If I smoke weed at 8.40, will I get double <laughs> Nice one. Nice one, Sanjay. Nice. So that's how our our AMA slash FAQ ends. I'm thinking about making about one of these every month. I think it's a good rhythm, but I don't know. It would depend of or of the the demand, of course. And yeah, maybe I feel like making more or less. I don't know. Um, still thinking about it. Anyway, that was the first. Wow, uh, another celebration for 300k and. Uh, yeah, it's July, it's uh, the month of uh, partying, right? So, let's party, let's have fun, uh, and that's it for today. Peace.